All right. Hey, everybody. It's David Kramer, the Critical Thinking Christian. And today I just want to kind of touch on, okay, uh, Adam and Eve, okay, the, the story. If you were a Christian, you read that story. I don't know how many times you heard that story. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I think most Christians, I, I could be wrong, but I think most Christians realize that it's an uh, allegory and metaphor. It's not fact. It's a fanciful story. It's a, it's a, like a fairy tale. And what I want to do is, I'm not going to go in depth here, okay? I'm not a scientist. I'm not a intellectual. I'm just a, you know, guy who, uh, I want to know the truth. I don't want to be taught allegory and metaphor about uh, a man and a woman that came from his ribs and, uh, the, he had two trees, and the woman was enticed by an upright shining serpent to eat the fruit off of this tree. She gave it to her husband, and now we're all sinners. Um, okay, right. Okay. I just want to, you know, uh, touch on some of these findings that science has been finding now for a while. And maybe you know of these. Maybe these are some of you are like, yeah, I know all about that. Okay, well then move on. But anyway, uh, of, of pre, what we call pre-Adamic civilizations, of when man was first uh, on this earth, uh, the evidence that science has come up with through uh the carbon dating and stuff like that. Uh, uh, this first article, now this comes from Science Daily, and I'm going to get the links and put them in the description so you can, if you want to read it. But uh, now this here is from November 18th, uh, 2004, and this finding was in the May of the previous year in 2003. But the evidence back then puts man in North America 50,000 years ago, okay? Uh, and it says here, radiocarbon tests of carbonized plant remains where artifacts were unearthed last May along the Savannah River in Allendale County by University of South Carolina archaeologist Dr. Albert Goodyear indicate that the sediments containing these artifacts are at least 50,000 years old, meaning that humans inhabited North America long before the last ice age. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, and then we got this one here. <clears throat> Ice Age Survivors. Okay. Now this here is from March 1st, 2023. So that's this month. The team analyzed, and this says Ice Age Survivors. Okay. The team analyzed the genomes of 356 prehistoric hunter-gatherers from different archaeological cultures. That's 356 prehistoric hunter-gatherers, okay? That's quite a bit, okay? Including new data sets of 116 individuals from 14 different European and Central Asian countries. Modern humans began to spread across Eurasia around 45,000 years ago, but previous research showed that the first modern humans that arrived in Europe did not contribute to later populations. This study focuses on the people who lived between 35,000 and 5,000 years ago and that are at least partially the ancestors of the present-day population of Western Eurasia, including, for the first time, the genomes of people that lived during the last glacial maximum, the coldest phase of the Ice Age around 25,000 years ago. Okay? You know, scientists, Christians, there are some Christians that think that scientists are just a bunch of liars and they're just uh, embellishing and they're just coming out and going, yeah, look, we found this, even though they haven't found it. We're all inquisitive. All of us are curious. We, we want to know what goes on in the past. And scientists went into that field because they want to find out the truth. Yes, are there scientists out there that are charlatans? Yes. But there's uh, other people out there that are charlatans, okay? You got the ancient alien crowd. You got Christians out there. Ron Wyatt, uh, the Seventh-day Adventist. 
who claims he found all kinds of crap, that it ends up that the guy lied about it. Okay? Uh, so, but I think the majority of these guys and women are looking and they want to know the truth. All right? So, okay. Okay, let's look at this one. Oldest human genome in, from southern Spain. Now, this here is March 1st, 2023. A new study reports on genomic data from a 23-year-old individual who lived in what was probably the warmest place of Europe at the peak of the last ice age. The oldest human genome recovered from the southern tip of Spain adds an important piece of the puzzle to the genetic history of Europe. You know, that, I like that. Um, it gives us more information. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, here we go. 2.9 million year old butchery site reopens case of who made the first stone tools. Now that's February 9th, 2023. Okay, the source is the Smithsonian, okay. Along the shores of Africa's Lake Victoria in Kenya, roughly 2.9 million years ago, early human ancestors used some of the oldest stone tools ever found to butcher hippos and pound plant material, according to new research led by scientists with the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History, Queens College, uh, the C University of New York. Uh, I don't really... C-U-N-Y, I'm just going to say, as well as the National Museums of Kenya, Liverpool, John Moores University, and the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. So, okay, what's this one? <clears throat> Remapping the super highways traveled by the first Australians reveals a 10,000-year journey through the continent. New research has revealed that the process of peopling the entire continent of Sahul the combined megacontinent that joined Australia with New Guinea when sea levels were much lower than today took 10,000 years. Okay? So, you know, looking for evidence. And sometimes they, they seem to find evidence that points to this. You know, it's like points to X, and then later through more research and more study, they find out, up oh, it was Y. But, you know, a lot of times it's still further back than what the Adam and Eve story is. Okay, 6,000 years, we're supposed to have 7,000 years, and then, you know, God, you know, comes back and, and all that. So, you know, I'd rather you know, put my trust in, in this. Huh. Here's one. Gene variations for immune and metabolic conditions have persisted in humans for more than 700,000 years. Okay, genetic study of modern humans, Neanderthals, and Denisov Denisovans, uh, Denisovans, I guess that's how you pronounce that, points to the importance of balancing selection in evolution. Like a merchant of old, balancing the weights of two different commodities on a scale, nature can keep different genetic traits in balance as a species evolves over millions of years. You know, pretty interesting stuff there. Uh, ties with Neanderthals stronger than previously thought.
Scientists uncovered that modern humans and Neanderthals interbred as early humans moved out of Africa. Which, I guess you'd say, helped our, the, the genetic helped the, uh, genetic traits. Uh, but, you know, evidence, you know, there, there's evidence there. And like I said, you know, they'll probably eventually find maybe something that contradicts or something that, uh, you know, uh, confirms. But, <clears throat> but anyway, there, there, those are some, uh, you know, evidence of, of science and uh, what they have found. And that, like I said, you know, to me, that, that's more solid than a fanciful story in a, in a, in a field, in a book, in a holy book. Um, if the God of the Bible is real, why didn't he put down, right, have the truth written down, facts, solid facts. This is what happened. You know, so that's pretty much all I got right now. Like I said, I'm going to put the links in the description uh, of all of these. Uh, <laughs> you know, so you can uh, look at... Uh, I think all I really need to do is put the link to one of these. I'll put the link, to, I think, to the first one. Let's go back here. There. I'm going to put the link to this one in. And that way you can, then you'll be able to go on the side here and check out more. But, you know, let me know what you think. Uh. You know, it's very interesting, very reveal, revealing, you know. So that's all I have for right now. And uh, until next time, uh, I'm David Kramer, the Critical Thinking Christian.